Hello, Kevin Vandy here from Competitive Edge Physical Therapy, bringing you another video of our 3D mile motion running gait assessment from our gait lab. This video today is going to be describing passive shock absorption uh, symptoms in running versus the active system, and we'll be using our video and our 3D angle measurement data to go through the assessment. So here we go. So what you see here is how we look at and analyze gait here at our lab. We have our 3D angle measurements in real time here, sensitive to within a degree of motion. Here we have the 3D representation as a skeletal avatar of that data. And then we have uh, HD uh, video here at 30 frames per second. And in the black and white, we have 100 frames per second grayscale. And then down here we have our pressure mapping of each individual step during the running assessment. For this particular video, we're going to highlight the 3D avatar, and we're going to highlight this posterior view uh, so we get a better look at the trunk, pelvis, and knee. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop it here mid-flight on the left-hand side. See a nice level pelvis. Uh, legs are pretty much in straight orientation, sagittal orientation. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the video through till we land on the left side. And I'm going to go uh, at one-tenth the speed so you can see the motion through the pelvis and leg. And what you catch initially from the uh, skeleton more than you do the video is you see there's a contralateral pelvic drop right here, uh, significantly more than when uh, the weight bearing is on the right side. And then you also see some, it's called genuvarus. You see the knee bow out to the side on the left side more than you do the right side. And I'll stop it right at the motion here. So in the video, we can clearly see the pelvic drop, but what we can't clearly see is the genuvarus. But we do see it here based on the 3D motion data. And if we pull it to the front, we can see the pelvic drop on this right side. We see a compensated ipsilateral trunk lean, and we see genuvarus at the knee. These are all signs and symptoms of passive shock absorption, which basically uh, results from decreased activation and strength of the gluteus maximus and medius, which control the alignment of the pelvis and also control the uh, movement, coronal plane movement of the knee, as well as transverse plane. So this individual... Uh, presented at the clinic with hip-related bone symptoms and a history of plantar fasciitis, which are both passive symptoms, passive injuries. It wasn't in the muscular system or tendinous system. And so this gait assessment allows us to visualize and give a representation of what was needed in order to absorb shock, shock accordingly. Our physical therapy assessment further confirmed the weakness at the gluteus medius and gluteus maximus. And EMG confirm it confirmed a inability to properly activate those tissues with isolated exercises. Now, with some training and some feedback, we were able to get the gluteal muscles active in order to demonstrate proper squatting and single leg control over time. And it was successful in improving the active shock absorption system. So that's how we do our running gait assessment here at Competitive Edge Physical Therapy in San Jose. Using the 3D motion, we can visualize things uh, most other clinics can't see with an iPad or uh, with other software. The 3D motion is the, is the, real, uh, the real deal in terms of real-time feedback and uh, expert-level gait assessment. If you're interested and you're in the San Jose area, give us a call. 408-784-7167 or visit on visit us on the web www.compedgept.com and uh, check out our blog with even more information and videos on running and improving running form.